Uh, so it's raining outside, um, as you can see, and it's slightly dark, so what's better than shit light and uh, rain than to take the bus out for a quick run in a really tight space. But no, well, I'm just, um, we're just going to take the bus up the lane and back. We start it sort of every week, just to make sure the battery's topped up uh, and everything's fine, but it hasn't really been moved for a couple of months, so just going to take it up to the top of the lane and back make sure the brakes are still working make sure the oil's running through the transmission aka gearbox um and the diff oil and everything just moves and doesn't get really a bit stagnant um all the axles are freed up all the brakes are freed up then and just um yeah just give it it's only a mile up the road so just give it a couple of miles just to free everything up a little bit ideally i'd like to take it on a big run but um still don't have my license got a coach license so i've got my psv for the UK uh, and because this is left-hand drive you're not allowed to carry passengers you're not allowed to pick up passengers um, from the middle of the road so this is now classed as a privately goods privately owned uh, HGV um, so I've got to do my class two uh, might do my class one because I want my trailer license as well but um, yeah a bit annoying considering I can drive these things and I used to drive them as a job uh, even bigger than this triaxles and stuff like that across Europe and I can't even can't even drive this legally, which is annoying. But oh, I will we'll take it up the road, which is private land. Anything with the uh, air power brakes and suspension, you have to let the compressor build up the tanks. These are the tanks, there's the brakes, there's the brakes, front brakes, back brakes, I assume. Once the red lights are off, oh, which are off now, it should probably get up to about 90, I imagine. Um, you can then roll. just took it out for a little run up the road it was absolutely faultless did a quick brake test um because i haven't actually 
driven it properly, so I, did, I wondered what it was like if you slam on, and uh, I don't think it's got ABS. <laughs> uh, it locked up straight away, but like big American buses and trucks do, but Christ, they're sharp and they are powerful, so that's sound, at least we know the brakes are pretty good. Um, it goes a bit quicker than I thought, like obviously it's a bus, not that fast, but you put your foot down and it's auto, once it's decided to change up, it, she loves it. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to drive, get out and drive it. Forgot what it was like to drive a big vehicle again. So um, it was nice getting out the driveway a bit tight. But um, yeah, all good. It's, uh, she's some rig. Look how long it is. I could do a whole 180 and it's just massive. But yeah, um, it was nice to get out on it and remember the moves. Um, because you, you work in it all the time and it just sits in the barn and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, this is sweet, working away, working away, we'll be going traveling and stuff. And you eventually forget that it moves, it's just sort of this box that you're building in. And then once you start it up and going for a drive again, you remember why you're doing it. So yeah, good fun.